Hello, and welcome to Smooth Racing with King Posh. Today, I want to show you guys the, my 2013 Ford um, Shelby GT500 all-wheel drive grip race build for the Flex Your Muscles for the new um, new Mustang that uh, is available of today. So, if you want to see here, it's the welcome back page here. If we go to Festival Playlist... It's going to be for this one right here, for the new exclusive uh, Ford GT500 uh, 2020 edition. Um, so uh, I just did a race with this and it just smoked everybody. So I decided to make a video of this and show you guys what I've done. So let's first show you guys. Um, now I haven't shared it. I haven't shared it yet, but I will after this video. Um, so let's just get right to what I've done. Now you're going to hear a kid in the background, but I wanted to make this video now instead of when um, the kid goes to bed. So you're going to hear a kid. All right, we got a twin turbo. Now this thing has close to 800 horsepower, 761 foot pounds of torque. It weighs 32, almost 3,300 pounds. It gets zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds. Zero to 100 in almost uh, four seconds um, and a top speed of 201 miles per hour so it's very fast it blows uh, all the other cars out of the water right off the bat when you're taking off it's so much fun um, you got adjustable front and adjustable rear all right and then I just left this stock well something fell down to the bottom Got uh, Horizon uh, race tires. All right, 285s in the front, 315s in the rear. Now I went with the heavier rims to get more power out of this, so I'm using um, the BLQs. All right, but I left it 19s in the front, 20s in the rear. You got stock uh, front track width in the front. And maxed out in the rear. The whole reason I did that is because if you go anything higher, it will be an S2, and this is for an S1 race. Here you got a race clutch, race transmission, stock driveline, and a race differential. Here you got race brakes, race springs and dampeners race anti-roll bars for the front and the rear no roll cage and as light as possible here we got stock intake stock fuel system everything here is going to be stock until we get to the end alright so we got a race twin turbo race intercooler and a race oil and cooling and then we have a sport flywheel anything higher say four pounds go to an s2 but this is an s1 boat for you guys let's get right to the tune not gonna worry about that let's go to the tune show you guys what i've done to this thing and then i'll take it and put it on to metric for you metric loving people a very simple uh, alignment anti roll bars softer on the springs low as you can go dampening I just made it softer 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 all right air is fully fully maxed out breaking 70% to the front with 130% pressure and then the differential, I just left it stock. Um, I didn't want to really want to bother it. I test drove it without tuning it. It works perfect. Don't need to change it. So there is the tune. Now let's go out and we'll get the metric. And then I'm going to continue on racing with this bad boy. So go to settings, go down the HUD. Go down to units, press yes for metric. 
Go over to cars. Go to tune. And here's your metric. There you have it. There is the metric tune. So. Well, anyways, I hope you, oh, I'll just take it back inside. But uh, yeah, if you want a, an awesome race tune, this is this is definitely it. Um, yeah. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If if you liked it, definitely hit that like button. And uh, if you want to see some more race builds, let me know in the comments below. And I will try to get them out as soon as possible. I'm going to share this uh, car. It's going to be called like uh, King's Grip um, Racer or something like that. And um, yeah, so it will be available for you guys to download. If you don't want to copy down the tune, change anything. You really don't have to change anything. This thing is wicked quick. So, and it grips. Excellent. So, all right. Well, take care, and I'll see you guys later. Peace, and stay racing, my friends.